what are your thoughts on life after death? But you say life is a conduit through which energy in the universe passes. So say a human, an animal, a plant dies. Where is that energy going? Um, a, a great friend of mine, actually, Paul Nurse, Sir Paul Nurse, who's got a Nobel Prize, who runs the Francis Crick Institute here, in, or founded it in London. He wrote a book recently called What is Life? which is brilliant, from a Nobel Prize winning biologist. And he ultimately says that we don't really know, but you can pin some things down. So one, as you said, is it's, it's something that happens. It's, it's that there's energy, a flow. By, by energy, I mean, what, what do we do? We burn food in oxygen. And if we stop burning food in oxygen, then we die. So there's, there's, there's an energy in the way a steam engine <laughs> yeah. does things. So there's that part of it. And then there's information that it processes information as well. So that's what we do. We so there's an information component and an energy component. But the point is, it's it just at a fundamental level, it's no different to something like a, a a computing device in the sense that it obeys these basic physical laws, which are, there's got to be a, a source of of energy. And you've got to be able to do things and, and, and your structure is remains and things like that. Life obeys the laws of physics. So it is part of the physical universe. And so therefore, you, you don't have any, there's no conceivable way that your, your, your conscious experience can persist when the, the thing, the, the, the machine stops working. 